Hello everybody, my name is Farmer Phil and today I'm doing a video on why we bought a shear bucket over a shear grab or a shear grab with a bucket. This is a user request or a subscriber requested video so please if you have any um, videos you'd like to see me do hit me down in the comments down below and I'll try and get to them whenever it suits or as soon as I can. So as you can see there we have a pro dig shear bucket for the teleporter. We bought it two years ago yeah it's two years ago we bought it and the main reason we bought the shear bucket over a shear grab or a shear grab with the bucket that slides into it is because we um feed a lot of whole crop and may silage as well well we don't have any may silage this year but hopefully we'll be growing some this year that's the plan anyways but um that was the main reason because with the tines in the bottom of a, a standard shear grab you end up losing some of your your feed through it because the whole crop is just that bit finer and you lose a bit of grain and the same with the maize it just sort of shakes out of it with the shear bucket that can't happen that was really and truly the main reason why we bought a shear bucket over the shear grab um the shear bucket we'd be quite positive that it hold every bit as much as the shear grab um it, it holds a tremendous amount of stuff like it does exactly the same job it does a nice leaves a nice square edge in the pit and saying that no our pit is very near the back wall <laughs> so um but on that front with our silage run um the pit running out we still have a lot of bale silage and we have another small pit of whole crop to be used as well you could say the backup so but anyways it does the exact same job as a shear grab would do it's very tidy um, I suppose one of the other benefits is uh, again with the, the forks you just don't lose that little bit through through the fork the tines but that with silage is not as much of a problem um, and then also I think one of the things when we were looking at it was now I know now I can't really speak about um, a shear grab that has a bucket that slides into it and whatever it attaches because we never really did look at and it wouldn't be fair for me to be talking about because I wouldn't honestly god I wouldn't really know what way a lot of them work or how they're kept in place but um, one of the reasons we weren't too keen on it was just um, when you be filling the diet feeder I know they have locking mechanisms but if you ever hit the wrong lever or something it could fall off like that was one of the things we were a bit worried about because on our setup we have um, a set of taps so we can turn off um, when we pawn the bucket you can see the taps there it turns off the automatic or the hydraulic attaching uh, pins for putting on buckets and that so it turns it off so we can't fall off so it won't fall off and we have to turn the taps to redirect the hydraulic oil to the rams for opening and closing the shear bucket so it is for our sake the way we did it was the safety feature that it can't happen to us but that was something we were a bit concerned about when we were looking if we had it gone down that road but the main reason as i said we bought a shear bucket over a shear grabber that was just because of using the whole crop you just don't lose that much of it through it. Like you, with the shear bucket, you just can't lose any of it through it. And that was really, and honest to God, the only, the main reason. But one of the disadvantages to the shear bucket, um, is something I find anyways, if you see the slope on it there, the way that's done like that, if you have a pack full bucket of meal or grain or whatever, it's that's the space where it tends to spill a nice bit so it's something that we we always do when we throw in minerals we just sort of tidy it back in because it, it just that bit there it just leaves it a bit easier to spill out of i suppose would be the best way of saying it it's just it's more likely to spill than a standard bucket when it's full and i assume the reason the bucket is done like that instead of having like a normal bucket just a straight hedge is so you're able to drive it into the face of a pit more to get your full bucket out of it but i suppose that's really all i can talk about about it but the as i said main reason was because we used the whole crop and we just you you don't lose anything through the bottom of it with the bucket whereas with the tines you would lose some of it across the yard to and, and fro and so that is really it if you have any comments anything like that please hit me down in the comments down below please like and subscribe to my channel if you have any suggestions or any videos you'd like to see me do please as I said before, hit me down in the comments. 
that is it from me. Um, I hope this video has answered your question. Uh, that is it from me. Good luck.